It's kind of deflating that nobody today really remembers Harry and the Hendersons. I mean, sure, the family's very generic and just seems average, but it's a movie that has Bigfoot! What this movie does differently is conveying Bigfoot as a nice creature instead of a giant furry monster. Our main family are coming home from a camping trip when they all of a sudden crash into Bigfoot. They see that he got hurt pretty bad, so they decide to take him home. This is when all the shenanigans occur. He's too big for their house. Wait a minute, how do you know Bigfoot is a he? We don't know if it's male or female. Definitely male. How can you tell? Oh, don't answer that, honey. Never. At first, they think he is a violent creature, but we see that he really is a gentle and not mean at all. He's just scared that he's not in his home. <laughs> Meanwhile, there is this other guy, Jock Lefleur. He's been searching for Harry his entire life and does anything he can to capture him. When the family decides that he's nice and caring, he goes missing. This is when more chaos occurs. The whole city wants to capture him, but everybody sees Harry as a dangerous creature. But he's not. Just look at his face. That doesn't look violent at all. It's pretty clear Harry is the star. You are just so invested into seeing how he moves and reacts in every scene. Just seeing him being tall and all that fur around him, it makes you hope one day Bigfoot can be found and we can see his gentleness. There are other characters in this movie, but for me, they are all sort of forgettable. It's like I said before, they are all average, but in a way, maybe they're supposed to be. An average person would automatically think to capture and sell Harry for money. That's how the family was at first, but once they'd learned the truth, they outgrew their generic traits. They saw that Harry is a kind, gentle being that has a heart. Now, the ending at first was very cheesy. We see the family send Harry back to the woods, then we see more big feats, small and big. So Harry has a family? It seemed just out of nowhere, but after a few more times, it grew on me. Maybe it was setting up a sequel or something. What's funny is Harry and the Hendersons was first pitched as a TV sitcom. The producers felt the story was so good it should be a movie. But since the movie became a hit, there was enough interest to do a show now. I remember seeing the show back in syndication. I didn't see much of it, just left it on in the background while I did something else. The show had a different cast play the family, and obviously Harry was there. Harry even was a character at Universal theme parks throughout the 90s. It kind of makes me sad he stopped being there so fast. I never once got to see him walk around. But it was obvious at the time he started to drift apart from audiences. So Harry and the Hendersons came and went. It taught us to not be average. Look at this family. The car, the house, the suburbs, the neighbors, the job, the people. It all just oozes typical. But when Harry entered their life, they became not so average anymore. Harry's heart touched them and us as movie watchers. Even the villain of the movie learned that Harry wasn't a mean-spirited beast he thought he was. In our day and age, should we bring back Harry to save us from the generic side of society? The answer? We may never know. Thank you.